Fox News' Erica Erickson with the story. His name is Captain, and he's back with his loving owner Thursday, thanks to a man now known by his friends as the Birdman. Kozlowski <laughs> says while heading out the door with her daughter in Riverview, Captain decided he wanted to come too. Kozlowski's daughter trying to stop him. Whoa, she that was you right on him, TV, which Dad? Spooked him. And off he took. Flying around the house, landing at the top of a tree, Captain anchoring himself there for hours. Too high for an extension ladder, no luck. Then Captain trying to get down. He flew out of the tree. He flew around the street several times and uh, grabbed the first thing he could, which was another much larger tree. Getting darker and colder, Kozlowski says Captain kept getting scared, calling for her. Kozlowski asking for help on Facebook, getting a response from this guy. This guy. Now completely dark, Captain falling asleep, still up in the tree, 60 feet. He looked at the tree and he put on his climbing gear and up the tree he went. A lot of times I'll wear hooks to make it easier in my saddle and rope and just go climb the tree. <laughs> Calling for Captain John Sueda says the macaw is stubborn and scared. At first he was he had his back to me and he wasn't coming my way. But after 30 minutes of coaxing the macaw, I put my arm up there and he just kind of crawled up and. I thought he was going to be up here, but he kind of was down a little further, so I just kind of hunched down. <laughs> Giving Captain a piggyback ride down the tree. <laughs> Captain was very happy to see me. Uh, it was very cold, and uh, thankful we were able to bring him home that night. Kozlowski says she was terrified she'd never see Captain again, thanking Sueda for taking the time to save her pet parrot. Thank you, John. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So if people get their animals stuck in a tree, they know who to call. That's right. <laughs> In Riverview, Erica Erickson, Fox 2 News. Mm -hmm. huh.